Hey, what's up you guys? Good morning. Craft Junkie here. So I thought after our last declutter video that you guys were owed a declutter haul because I did mention in that video that there were some things that I was actually going to be bringing to my house and trying to give them a second life. So I just thought I would kind of go through with you guys and let you know what I'm keeping, what I'm giving to friends, what I'm going to be re-gifting, maybe DIYing, um, and just kind of giving a second life to would appreciate that so you're welcome <laughs> um let me get some water drink your water guys drink your water so um i really haven't explained too much about like our house and our living situation and things like that i have had people comment and tell me to do a house tour so that is coming that is in the works but not yet um, but a lot of the things that I am keeping are actually going to go into our casita. It's also like an Arizona room. Um, if you're if you're from Arizona, you know what that means. But if you're not, it really just means like an extension to your house. Um, usually the room is just enclosed with some screens, but ours is actually enclosed with actual walls and then it has a fireplace as well. So it's pretty cool. Um, and we book we rent it out as an Airbnb stay so you can find us on the Airbnb app look us up um, and yeah so the things that I am going to keep they're probably gonna stay somewhat in the casita and then also in my craft room so they're gonna be split up in between those two rooms and then there's a lot of things um, that I'm either gonna be gifting to somebody else or DIYing and then I was also thinking about maybe selling some of the things. I got everything for free, so I don't want to put too much of a price on it. Um, the price point would really just be the materials that I put into it, if any, and um, like the work that I put into it. So there's a lot of things <laughs> kind of going on right now, going through my mind of how all this is going to work. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this haul video. The first thing is this large jar. I already have the smaller version, like literally the exact same one, um, and I use that for my sugar. So maybe I'll use this for my flour or gift it to somebody. Everything in this video is kind of going to be like a an either or. So leave a comment below if you want any of this. <laughs> The next thing are just these lights, and I'm thinking about hanging them up, but they don't really go with the aesthetic, with the color scheme that our house is. I don't like anything very colorful like that. We're kind of sticking to a wood and um, dark natural colors, and that's reds and yellows and oranges, so I probably won't be using that. This I actually really love, and I'm thinking about just hanging it on the wall behind me. And I'll probably be giving it a stain and using that because I really, really like that. This I like as well. I'm just not sure if it's for us. Um, it could use a it could use a sanding and stain. I think it's bamboo, and it's to use like to hold your kitchen utensils. But I'm just not crazy about it. I just thought it was cool and worth keeping. Same with this guy. It's real wood, obviously. I just, I don't love it for myself. <laughs> Same thing with this one again. <laughs> um, maybe if I spray painted it, it'd be nice. Like I said, reds just really don't even work with our house. So this one I am so, so excited about. It is, I think, it's old it's very vintage it's a vintage blender i freaking love this when i saw it my heart just about jumped out of my shirt because i was like that is for me they also left behind um just some sketchbooks that are completely empty so i thought this was really cool there's like some people on it i'm not too sure what that's about um, but the pages are really nice. I actually have a book like this that I got um, from Earthbound and the book was like $45 for these canvas pages. So it's a pretty good book. And then I'm hoping that's fake leather. 
I'm not sure with um, how old it is. It could be real leather. So maybe I'll be gifting it to somebody. Not too sure. These, there will be a DIY about these guys. I am so excited about these guys. Like, ah! I wish I could just tell you guys right now, but just wait for the DIY video on this. This is another thing when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness. So um, if you know me, you know that uh, Donovan's baby shower was Diwali themed. It's an Indian holiday celebrating lights. And this is actually like the, um, like the layout that everything was. So it just goes so perfectly. And then there's even this to like put out the fire. It's just, it's so me, it's crazy. I really wish I like had these people's phone number or email or anything so I could like write them a letter and be like, thank you for everything you didn't want because I love it. <laughs> um, they left behind quite a few just playing cards, um, which is really cool. We are trying to make the casita like have its own kind of board game section playing card section just kind of you know something like that something where if we are going to have family over we can hang out in this room or if we're having airbnb guests there's things for them to do because we don't currently have a tv in the casita so we're just trying to have it like kind of cool this this is another thing where i was like oh my god it is meant for us whenever um before covid happened in february devin and i were actually planning a trip to Yellowstone for my birthday. So when I saw that magnet, I was like, what the hell? Like, it's just, it's insane. Um, this next thing I am, it's like a real sentimental piece for me and I don't even, I guess I know why. Um, this is just, it's really cool. This reminded me of the casita that we actually had on the farm that I grew up on when I was younger. And um, there was a casita out there and it had a little door like this. And it just reminded me of my grandpa. And I just thought it was really cool. <laughs> so yeah, it's crazy. Cause like the universe is just like that. Like people don't ever leave. Like it's so cool. <laughs> these I am very excited about it's two different size bowls and then the print on it is just so lovely it's in like a light brown color it's very pretty and it came with a dish a whole plate set so it came with like a large salad bowl and then also some plates that have the same print on it it is so crazy I'm I don't know what it is it's like a cosmic coincidence this whole thing um, Devin was just talking about maybe a month ago that he wanted an old school radio like this that has the radio, an alarm, a snooze button, like everything. Um, and I literally like laughed at him and I was like, dude, that's what your phone's for. So <laughs> whenever, whenever I saw that, I was like, what? Like the universe is crazy. This I'm really excited about, um, my kitchen is very like unfinished i guess you could say um for as much as i cook and as much as i do in my kitchen i just don't have everything that i need for it to be like a whole kitchen so anything that i saw that could help me finish it i was really excited about so that pot definitely going to be using that this as well it's like a little it's hamilton beach um i guess you could say it's like a food ninja it's just gonna like chop up some stuff. So I thought that was cool. Um, these two things I'm actually gonna be gifting to my mom. She is really into just gold and angels and this is her vibe. So whenever I saw this, I definitely thought of her. And then also this, um, which I might be spray painting because I don't know if this color green would really go with her aesthetic of her house. So maybe I'll give it a good spray paint. Everything in here is really going to be staying in the casita. They have these, which is like, <clears throat> um, like the birds and cactuses 
cacti of Arizona, which I thought was really cool. Um, our casita kind of has like an Arizona theme to it. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of nice to have these for just people that aren't familiar with Arizona to look at. So just maybe I'll frame those so they look a little nicer. This is a well, and I believe this is actually painted by the people that own that house. So that's just kind of cool to have something of theirs. If you know me, you know I am crazy about <laughs> tea towels and kitchen towels. I just love it. I don't necessarily like this or even know what it is. I think it's like a padding for an ice pack because it has an opening and then it's already padded. So it's not a tiny pillow. It's not, I'm not actually sure what it is. There's also some pillowcases, which I might be giving an embroidery to. Oh, I'm excited about this. I've been really into like Scandinavian art lately. It has hearts on the back of it, but I'm just gonna be using it like this. So there will be a DIY on that, definitely. And there's actually two of them. Um, more towels. I'm really trying to own set of towels, own set of everything. So when people do come and stay here, it's not like I'm just giving them what's in my my towel my towel closet. It's like their own their own set. Another tea towel, which not crazy about the red, but I thought it was nice. This also. There's actually two of these and I can't find the other one. I've been using them as um, face masks when I go into a store and stuff. So I've just been like, Psh. so I thought these were really cool. I might do maybe an art piece with these, I'm not too sure. And then another pillowcase. And then just this wicker basket, which I love. Color scheme of it. I just think it goes really good with our whole aesthetic. So I really like that. I also have some pans. This is like a muffin pan, like a, a non-stick muffin pan. So you just make it in here. And then when it's done, you just pull it right up. So that's really cool. I really, really needed something like that. And then just some more pans, which I think I actually am going to be giving to a friend because I don't need this many some towels we have this blue towel which I just really like the print on it I thought it was really nice a lot of pink towels which I'm actually going to be giving to my friend because she has a one-year-old that loves towels and blankets like playing with them and stuff so I thought the light pink color was just really nice for her and yeah just like a whole set of towels some green and red which I'll probably keep for the casita because like I said I want I want the casita to have its own set of linens and then I didn't realize it ew this is this needs to be trash actually there's oh it's all sticky and warped and oh I thought that was in better condition <laughs> Took a little break because Donnie woke up. So we're just gonna continue on. He's playing, not gonna be in this video. <laughs> um, yeah, just continuing right on with everything. Um, they had this, which is just like perfect for like sewing needles and different threads and different stuff like that. So I'll definitely be using this in my craft room. Perfect for that. Some more kitchen stuff. It's crazy because I make cupcakes so often and I do not have a cupcake pan. Every time I make cupcakes, I will text Devin's great aunt because she lives right down the road and ask to borrow hers. So hi, enjoy if you're watching this. I don't have to borrow yours anymore. <laughs> um, this, it's like a, what is this? Like a, a skillet kind of thing? It's like, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna, <laughs> I need to look up like what I can make in this. I think it's for like, you know, if you're gonna do like chorizo and potatoes and stuff, I think it's like something like that. Like, just like a big, 
a big pan to cook in or maybe to keep stuff warm in. I thought it was good for like holidays and stuff. So when we are feeding a lot of people, I just thought it'd be good, but I need to look that up because I'm not sure if you can like actually cook in it or if you keep things warm. Leave a comment below if you know. <laughs> I'm not great with kitchen stuff all the time. This is just really cute. It's a little star nightlight. I need to put batteries in it. Hopefully it works. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cool. Scrabble, I've actually have never played this. So I thought that was really cool. It has all of the pieces. And yeah, I just thought this was like a really cool game to have in the casita. Let's see. Oh, this I'm really excited about. All the other linens have been washed already, but this one has not. This comforter is basically as the walls um, as the color of the walls behind me. Um, I believe it's called Storm Cloud by Sherman Williams, of course. And then just more games. This is a French card game. I've never heard of it. So I just thought it'd be cool. Crossword Puzzle Dictionary. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. More sketch pads, which look at her eyes. They've been like kind of looks like Johnny Depp. A Problem from Hell, America and the Great in the Age of Genocide. I just thought the casita could use some like good books. So hopefully this is it. And then First Houses, it's like Native American houses, which is really cool. Just kind of goes more with our Arizona theme to the casita. This, I actually had to dig out of my pantry because I've been using it for the last week. I love a good teacup, love, especially if it's glass, love it. Um, these as well, enamel paints. And these are all full, like this has never been used. So I don't know, I guess it's just, it's that way with winter visitors, they just kind of stock their house with some things that they might want. But then if they don't use it, they're like, who cares? We've got a big ass house back in Wyoming or wherever the hell they're from. Um, this, I actually wanna do like a pantry organize, um, organization video. And I thought I could use this as like a spice rack. I might spray paint it black just so it goes a little bit better, but I thought this was nice. This guy, <laughs> oh, he broke in. <laughs> So, yeah, he just broke with the move, but I thought he was really nice. Just kind of has like a glass door, a little shelf. So, I don't know. I thought it was kind of nice. I don't love these top pieces, but, you know, can make it work. Maybe. Hopefully. Amp, I actually really, really love. I have just recently really got into um, the terracotta orange. It's like the terracotta um, plants, pot plants that you might know. It's just the, the color orange. But I thought it'd be really cool if I spray painted um, the base of it, that orange color. And then um, either did like some embroidery on the top or I don't know. I just thought it would be a cool DIY and a cute little lamp for the casita. This I'm going to be using for um, just my crafts whenever I do some spray painting or painting or, you know, anything that I could use a tarp for. I thought this was really nice. And then this blanket I love. I've already been using it. Um, it's like the, it's like really thin and just like a good, good width, like it goes perfectly over. Like when Donnie takes naps, I'll just cover him up in this and he really likes it. It's really soft and it goes perfectly with our house, like the color scheme and everything. So I just thought it was really great. It's kind of an awkward 
angle but I just wanted to show you guys this um, like I've mentioned in past videos we are a low to zero waste family but we are also a barefoot household so we actually have a shoe rack by the door that we have people um, put their shoes at whenever they come in so I just thought this would be a good project for somebody else um, that wants to be a barefoot household. My mom said she was actually interested in making her house a barefoot household. So I thought um, this could use a good sanding and some stain and um, maybe be a good gift for her or um, just anybody else interested in being a barefoot household. There's really just a few things left. Um, set of bowls, just two really nice like mixing bowls like perfect size I thought this would be like a good size for like brownie batter and this one's a good size for like muffin batter um, so excited about that because I actually don't have good mixing bowls which is weird because I bake and I cook a lot I just make do with what I have but I'm really excited about all of this stuff because I'm gonna be adding to what I have um, this is really <laughs> so I'm gonna be giving to my friend as well because she has her raindrop shop and it would just be perfect um, so when she does do like farmers markets and um, uh, like different different places she goes to to advertise with her raindrop stuff she could just have like bath bombs here candles here you know whatever I might be giving it um, like a good spray paint or maybe paint it black for her because that's more of her vibe than like the open wood and this isn't even real wood it's like the cheap um, like plywood stuff so and then this is another one that will probably go to her it's just a three compartment stand. And yeah, I just thought again that it would be really good um, for her raindrop business. So Megan, this is all yours and you should have done this video with me. This little hammer I thought is so cute. We have like those huge heavy hammer, I guess it's not like huge, the normal size hammer. It's just too much for me. So I really like this one. Uh, these I'm going to be giving a good spray paint to and using them in my kitchen for towels and whatnot. And yeah, that's basically everything. The last thing, Donnie's pooping, hold on. <laughs> Hi baby, you okay? Um, the last thing that I was really excited about was this ironing board. Um, where is the iron? I don't know, but their house had one ironing board and three irons. So I split that up. One iron is staying here. One is going um, to Devin's younger brother, and then one is going to my friend. So yeah, it was just it was just like an abundance of things that um, people in their twenties could really use because we don't think about buying that, but it's good to have around. This is everything that we're going to be giving to Devin's brother. Devin's little brother just moved into his first place in the valley and he just needed like some random kitchen things. So I just kind of gathered up everything. Um, there's the iron that I was talking about and then they also had a really nice crock pot and we already had one so I figured I'd give it to them. Crock pots are so easy to make like really good stuff with so I just thought they would like that. Yeah, everything else in here is just kind of basic. Some some kettle, um, tea kettles and, and different stuff. But that's basically it. Thank you guys so much um, for joining me for this little haul. I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm going to get to editing and uh, see how long it's going to be. I feel like I've been talking for the last hour. All right, guys, I promise I'm trying to get this video wrapped up. I feel like I've been talking forever. Not sure how the editing is going to go on this video because literally I've been talking for like two hours now. Um, I did forget to mention uh, these sheets. I actually had them in my linen closet because I had had them washed. Um, this is the one in the video that was just kind of covering their couches. So I thought this was really nice. It really goes um, with um, like the kind of vibe that we are going for in our house. 
Uh, I don't know, I thought it was really cute. So I might actually be using this kind of as a tapestry or maybe as curtains, something, maybe make it into some pillows. It's a very large sheet, um, probably like a king size sheet. So there's multiple things that I could chop this up and use it for. And then this one, I just thought was kind of precious. It like, I don't know, it doesn't even go, like I said, red just, red isn't my vibe. You will never see me wearing a red shirt, anything. Red just not, it's not my vibe. Um, but I thought this was really cute and it's, um, it's like a fitted sheet. So I thought that would be really nice with the blue comforter, um, just kind of go together. If you can hear Donnie, he is ready for this video to be done. So I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this little haul. Um, there will be lots of DIYs coming, lots of room transformations coming. So if you like this video, give it a like. If you love it, please subscribe for more videos like it. Always leave comments down below. Um, any video ideas that you have that you want me to go over or anything like that. If you think of any DIYs with the stuff that I've shown in this video, just leave a comment. Let me know, maybe I'll do it. Um, you can always follow me on Instagram for some like behind the scenes things of how things go with making videos, with making um, arts and crafts and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. It's been awesome. Donnie's ready, so I gotta go. Peace and love you guys. Leave the earth cleaner than you found it.